Coming up on this week's episode, we search for the elusive bioluminescent lights, Abby finds Snowdonia's best infinity pool, and we stumble across Wales's very own Magaluf. Who knew the like, sleepy Welsh village of Lanberis would turn into Miami spring break? We're David and Abby. Back in 2018, we bought a four-wheel drive Ford Transit, named it Summer, and spent almost two years living in it full-time while we travelled around Europe. Although we now spend a lot of our time running our businesses back in the UK, we still take every opportunity to get away and explore new places. In this mini-series, we've been exploring one of our favourite places in Wales, Snowdonia. Today we are going to be exploring the Snowdonia National Park. I have pinned a couple of hidden gems on the map and we're really looking forward to checking those out. We've never been to any of the spots before and we are starting our day this morning with a trip to the Watkins Pools. But first, coffee. Okay, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, so obviously our plan was to get up here, you know, 6am, beat the crowds, get the pools to ourselves so we could film some nice footage. Uh, it's 11 o'clock now. <laughs> Had a few so, beers last night. <laughs> plus we did hike Mount Snowden, yeah. the Crib Goch route, which is the hardest route, not that we're bragging. Um, and we were up at 5am for that, so our rule is we can only really do one early day, early morning. Yeah, no rule, we yeah. Can't, we can't ever manage two, so hence the bit of a lion. Today does happen to also be the red weather warning heat wave that we're getting this year. <laughs> so oh, the one dear. day of the year it's going to be 35 degrees. And I don't care what anyone says, 35 degrees in the UK is so much hotter than 35 degrees anywhere else. That's true, it definitely is. So it's already looking quite busy, hopefully not too busy. But if we can manage to film when there's hundreds of naked people in the French Pyrenees, then I reckon we can manage to film today. Get some good shots. And right on time, I think I can see oh, the pools. Oh, I can see them. Incredible though. The Watkins Pools are a series of waterfalls that cascade the rock wall, creating a series of natural infinity pools. Okay, so it looks like the first experience of the Watkins Pool is a success. Yeah. <laughs> Abby's managed to find the best pool in this joint. It is un oh, it's so deep. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It is like the best place I think I've seen in the UK, actually. I know, we've got an unreal waterfall behind us and our own private little infinity pool <laughs> with a cracking view on the other side. <laughs> I've no idea if you can hear anything because of the waterfall. One other family tried to sneak in here where there was more like, nah. We were like this. Get lost. <laughs> yeah, the pool's too small for all your family. <laughs> what a day to spend the UK's once a year heat wave. 35 degrees in this perfect little perfection of a plunge pool. If you're ever in the Snowdonia National Park area, you have to come here. So it's on the Watkins Path, like the route up Snowdon, one of the routes up Snowdon anyway. And it was about 20 minutes from the car park of the Watkins Path, which is not far at all to experience something like this. It's just absolutely unreal. Like, I can't believe I've ever been here before. We've come to Snowdonia a bunch of times, but... I know. This is probably uh, yeah. the best thing we've ever found in the park. Yeah. By far. I mean, yeah. 
having a place to yourself or at least this bit to yourself is just so good yeah yeah definitely recommend this one if you're in this Snowdonia okay babe so what would you rate this uh pool out of 10? it's a 10, 10 out of 10, 10. Oh my god, I'm in the water. <laughs> There's a deep bear. <laughs> so we have just left our perfect little infinity pool spot at the Watkins Pools. I know, it's sad to leave, but we've got plenty of our things to do today and we, uh, yep. we need to move on. But yep. good to have a proper van life shower. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, washed our hair. <laughs> the usual. But um, yep, we're looking forward to our next spot. We're not. 100% sure where we're heading next. There's maybe like an abandoned quarry that we might go to, but um, yeah. I think there's a good chance of more swimming there, but I'm not sure yes. if it's gonna beat that spot. Yeah, no, I know. That one will uh, be a tough one to beat. That is a tough one to beat. That was the best one in the UK so far. As we dried off, we jumped back in the van and head north in search of Denoric Quarry, an abandoned slate mine hidden in the mountains of Snowdonia. Okay, here we are at Denoric Quarry. I mean, like everything that I try to pronounce in Welsh, it's probably not correct. But we have arrived. Abby's making us some lunch really quick. What are you making us, babe? Uh, tomato and mozzarella tortellini. Mm. Yeah, delicious. So we're going to have a quick lunch. Uh, the time is really getting on. It's already like three o'clock. Literally three, um, yeah. We don't know anything about this quarry other than the fact it's massive. It's now abandoned, but I think when it was open, it was one point was the second biggest quarry in the world and used to have, I think, over 3,000 workers. So it's a bit of a beast. Uh, I think there's a lot of secret hidden gems in here though, but generally what we found out is just get in there, start exploring and see what you find. So let's do it. So we're on the main path for what we think is the main path into the quarry. And the views are pretty spectacular. It's like right up in the mountains and you can actually see the Crib Gawk, which was the hike we did up to Mount Snowdon yesterday. Um, we're not sure we're going the right way though, so you see, although this looks kind of quarry-like. Oh. I think that's one of our signs for the correct route. Okay. I've never seen anything like this. Not that I've actually ever been in the quarry before, <laughs> uh, but obviously mountains of slate. Yeah. The hillside is just peppered with little tunnels and caves and places to explore. I'm really looking forward to getting up over the top and seeing what's in the back on the back side. Yeah, me too. We think we're going to make our way through one of these tunnels. I don't know, but it looks like a path goes through there, does it not? God. They did say bring a torch if you're going to come here. We didn't bring a torch, but we got torches on our phone. Yeah. <laughs> Let's explore. Guys, what even is this place? This is crazy. It's like, I don't know, it's like a landslide of slate. It feels like that edgeway could just give way and you'd go tumbling down there with all the slate or something. I know it's razor sharp as well, Jeez. every little bit of it. Gosh. Ugh. God. Pretty insane though. I've never been standing in a, late, a slate landslide before. <laughs> God, look at that. It's like that crash landed from space. I know. <laughs> Shall we continue? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's go. So I'm going to pick up a couple of these slates to use as coasters at home. I feel like that's the kind of thing people pay like thirty pounds for four of these yeah. <laughs> on like Etsy or something. So if you're looking to quit your job and start a business, just come steal some slate from this quarry, <laughs> sell it on Etsy for twenty-five quid a piece. I have a feeling it's around here somewhere. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm not going in there. That looks so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of scary things. <laughs> Oh. 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 Don't need my sunglasses anymore. 
It's no way, is it through this? I don't know, this one looks maybe blocked. I think it was the other one. This is really pretty. Oh, it's so cold in here. It's gonna stress me a bit. I feel like the whole thing's gonna fall on us. Like immediately. Oh, That's blocked, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's so there's another one. <gasps> It's nice and cold in here though. Not a fan of that jazz. <laughs> Get me out of here. I'm a celebrity. Don't like the slate tunnels. Tunnel number two. This oh, is the no. one. <laughs> okay, so there's somewhere we're looking to find and I think on Google Maps it's behind this entire mountain. And that's kind of what terrifies me because it doesn't look like there's an easy way around the mountain or an easy way over the mountain which leaves <laughs> look <laughs> you can see through the mountain oh my god <gasps> what do you think of that i told you it was one of these things oh my watch your head they're really low okay. <laughs> it's not too long to come up good Oh, watch this place. Oh my god. It's gonna creep me out. <laughs> I'm a bit scared, it's a lot faster. I think the old track next to us. Holy oh, shit. Oh my god. We're in the middle of the quarry. Look at that waterfall. <laughs> I'm not sure if the camera is picking up. How insane this is. Wow. Have that you is ever? so high. So that's the creepy tunnel we've just come out of and then that's the creepy tunnel we're going to about to go through. Okay, tunnel cam. Oh god, this one's soaking wet. Oh, it's like a river is going through it. Oh, that's my shoe soaked. Yeah, she had to step on little stepping stones and bricks to avoid the water. Well, it's quite deep. <laughs> <laughs> Careful of your head, you're so hit. <laughs> you have to duck, but also use the stepping stones. equipment hiking into that thing. I don't know if the camera can see it but there's a chain. So you can pull yourself up and go down that horrible tunnel there. Okay so just as we were turning around to leave a couple of guys showed up. <laughs> I think one of them said he'd been here before. We'll just call him maniac number one. Yep. He just leapt up and grabbed that old rusty chain and started hauling himself about 50 feet up into that sketchy tunnel. I mean, maybe he knows it's safe in that abandoned quarry that's unused and that old rusty chain. If not, I don't know how he sits down with balls that big. But his, his friend was not up for it. No. So uh, good luck to them. We might see them in the paper tomorrow, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's time for us to head off. We were hoping there was a swimming pool here. Yeah, so it was called Dally's Hole. Yeah. But I think it is dried up because it's so warm. It's only here in the wetter months, but we didn't know that. So we're hoping to go swimming, but yeah. we might go and find a lake or something next instead. Yeah, we've still got a busy day ahead. Yep. Two more stops 
yeah. on today's episode. So, yeah, so we're heading into the town of Lamberis in Snowdonia National Park next. And yeah. yeah, let's see what we get up to there. We made our way towards Lamberis, which is the home of Britain's most photographed tree. The lonely tree is supposed to invoke a sense of calm and mystery in anyone who visits this peaceful corner of the lake. When we arrived, however... <laughs> so we've arrived at the Lamberis Lake oh. place, um, where the lonely tree is. And I've never seen scenes like this. It is so, so busy. Just wait till you see this. That's the lonely tree. But as you can see, it's full of people. It's like the UK's version of spring break right now. Lonely tree, not so lonely at the moment. <laughs> Definitely not. So it's not quite the um, Lamberis Lake lonely tree that we were <laughs> hoping to bring you guys along and show you. But we're going to get our swimming stuff on anyway going for a dip but um, I definitely don't think we're going to be staying long with all the 16 year olds. I think it must be like last day of the summer holidays like before the summer holidays or something because I can imagine it's just like that busy all the time but I don't know. Okay, so you might be wondering why we're filming in the dark, and it's not something we often do, but tonight is a special night. Now, purely by chance, we found ourselves in a hot spot for the bioluminescent lights that shine in the sea. Yep. Uh, which is kind of like the northern lights, but for the sea and they're blue. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we just happened to be in the area completely by coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Abby found a Facebook page online. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out people go mad over these oh, things. Oh yeah, they go mad. People are like out like every day, sitting for like five, six, seven hours, just like hoping to catch a glimpse. And like, apparently nobody really knows the conditions they come out in other than they like the heat. Yeah, they're um, super rare. So it's like rare, plankton or something that's activated yeah, so in the, the water? Yeah, so it's the plankton or the algae yeah. that's reactive to the light. I don't really know how it works, yeah. but they're they're blue and they're super, super rare. I think yeah. the last time they were seen in the UK was over a year ago or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, we're here tonight. We're hoping for the best. We know it's a slim chance and this, might, this vlog might just turn into absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. You may never see this vlog, actually. <laughs> yeah, you may never actually see this vlog. You know, if this Maybe is a total we'll, failure, this yeah. won't get posted. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, it would just be unreal. It's meant to be like totally magical and stuff. So yeah. we have our fingers crossed and so, yeah. yeah. So we are in Anglesey, by the way. We are in, yeah. what's the place? Penmouth Point, Penmouth Point. I don't know. Yeah, Penmouth Point we're in right now. I don't know if that's right. Penmouth Point, Penmouth Point. Penmont Point. Penmont Point. Oh, and just so you know, it's currently 11 p.m. So they're said to come out between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. Yeah. So, what time is it? Late one tonight. Oh, one, to ele one minute to 11. So. Yeah, so just one minute now. <laughs> okay. abby has gone back to the van to get a camping chair uh, and a few other bits and pieces. And I've been sitting down here by the lighthouse by myself and it's so quiet. And I can hear the crabs moving around me everywhere. And every time I go to shine the torch on one, they just run away. But it's just, it's just crazy how many there are. I can hear them in all directions, just clicking their little pincers. I'll see if I can grab one on camera. Check this out. That crab right there. He must be smaller than the size of my fingernail. I literally heard that. How crazy is that? Okay, progress report. It is now 11.43. <laughs> now, <clears throat> we've got our deck chairs assembled, yep. sitting by the shoreline. Uh, about like 40 or 50 other hopefuls, yeah, blue <laughs> plankton enthusiasts have shown up. So it's clearly not just us. And they've all got their bonfires and deck chairs. To be honest, I just feel like we're all a bunch of white. Okay, <laughs> sitting here waiting for something to happen, but yeah, it seems um, unlikely. unlikely that this whole shoreline is about to light up and twinkle away all blue. But yeah. um, one can hope. <laughs> How long before we just give up and go home? I know. 
I know, I don't think we'd make it till 3 a.m. I don't think we'll make it past midnight. Nah, come on, we got more than that. We've got more than that, okay. A little bit. Right, hopefully the next shot is us. Yeah. With a whole load of blink, blinky skinny blonkies. Skinny dipping. Yeah, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> skinny with skinny dipping plankton. with the plankton <laughs> and the algae. I don't know about you guys, but some, I'm a stranger to a bit of skinny dipping, but somehow plankton feels like you're just swimming naked with loads of bugs. Nah. I don't nah. think so. Nah. Yeah, you gotta Blue do bugs. it. No, you gotta do it. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Thank you. Let's go. Okay, so we're trying not to make any noise. I don't want everyone charging down here and ruin this fog right now. But they're in front of us. We've just, just seen it. They're just like the odd single blue light. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my so god. Cool. I don't know if it's even going to show up on the camera because it's like, it's like the odd individual plankton. It's not like a wave of blue. It's like the odd, yeah, the, odd yeah. single light. Oh my god. One actually <gasps> stayed on the beach and it was like just staying there blue for like a few seconds after. How are we going to catch this on the I camera? Don't know. I don't know, but we will give it our best shot. We'll give it our best shot, guys. Oh my god. We were very doubtful. Holy shit. That was I thought cool. it was a myth. That was cool. It's, you, after a while, you start thinking your mind is playing tricks on yeah. you because you're just looking out for this blue <laughs> thing and staring at the water. And, and there's like, quite a lot of like, lighthouses there's, there's lights and in the stuff. Yeah. So it's like, it's easy to think that it's just a reflection of something else. Oh. But there's like three waves in a row. Like, oh my god, I there's something there. And this just water's getting close wave, to us. And a yeah. huge one just went like right at our feet. Update, we're officially <laughs> standing in the sea. <laughs> so it turns out that the things are uh, brighter when they're agitated, so yeah. when there's waves and stuff like that. So uh, when we start seeing flickerings of blue light, we've both just sprinted in. I'm in my jeans, <laughs> up to my jeans, <laughs> up to my knees and my jeans. It's freezing cold, uh, but we're splashing around our feet like a couple of right so plonkers. <laughs> uh, it's worth can, it though. You can, you can see flickers. I hope the camera can pick it up. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just an absolute tool <laughs> in my... Oh, just absolutely soaking myself in the sea, freezing cold, in my jeans, for no reason whatsoever. Look at them all! So I hope you can see it. Oh my gosh! Well, this is a new one. <laughs> Never found myself on a beach in North Wales. <laughs> Fucking around. Uh, in the hope of seeing a twinkling blue light. I know, God. Oh, Christ. Next week, we continue our Snowdonia adventure by uncovering the secret fisherman's path before continuing on to explore an old abandoned brickworks factory on the Isle of Anglesey.